good morning everyone this is a beautiful sunday morning as you can see little cloudy but it's very nice soothing sunday so no one is around um and this is my entrance so let's start my july updates it's almost end of the july and as you can see this is my literal angel um lots of birds it has it's very healthy very nice and as you can see beautiful so many birds are about to bloom then um, let me start this side because i just want to show you because most of the flowers are this side actually so this is my um abraham darby very strong fragrance look at this i have some new buds here as well i did had all the spent flower in almost at the end of june and then these are some new growth very healthy plant dead heading is really really important then only some new growth will come new flower will come as you can see how beautiful they look together and its fragrance is like amazing it's fruity um next to it i have this princess alexandria of kent very healthy most of my these are some new canes which is like uh, full of flowers as you can see most of them are spent already and some are new to come like this one right yesterday i posted one video uh, where uh, i was showing a bouquet of uh, princess alexandria of kent it's a short video it was just one stem you know just like this yeah one stem with so many flowers so i just took out that stem because it was again it was falling down like this one you know when um, we have to cut the grass then we have to remove it so instead of that i just um took out the whole branch and then put it in a vase so go check out that one that's really nice very pretty and I love Princess Alexandria of Kent all together. It smells like ah, heavenly. So, again, there are, um, I did it all the spent flowers in this one too. And as you can see, some new growth here as well. This side, lots of beautiful flowers I'm having. And the reason I came this side to show you because our sun is actually in the left direction so all flower actually moves this side so it's hard to show from that other side so this is my princess alexandria of kent very very beautiful right um here i actually planted three hydrangea which i was having in pots so i this time i just put it in the ground um and let's see how it, they do here um uh, i have this this guy is hiding here as you can see this is what gabriel oak so these two babies actually i planted this year all flowers are spent i have to remove them Dead heading, some dead heading is very easy, just remove by hand. But some really have to use a pruner um, for the big plants. But I love this one, Gabriel Oak, because it's really nice color. It's more like a princess in to me. Here, uh, this guy is what is the name? Yeah, I'm forgetting the name of this one, but this is kind of sick one you know it got some 
disease is going up to me. Oh, well, I'm forgetting its name. I'll put the name in the description. But yeah, then I removed all the leaves. I sprayed and watered. Let's see if it comes back. This is here, Lady of Shalot. This I planted last year. And look at it. Scan. Came here. Yeah, like all these branches are literally, literally like ready to be a climber kind of thing. And here is this flower. Very pretty. I love it. So, and this side I have iceberg shrub rose here. So, they are also about to um, bloom very soon with new leaves, new buds. This is my Eden, still blooming, this is very nice. This is my Arch, Clematis is still blooming. One of the can uh, of this <laughs> uh, is actually literally like this one, all long. And this is of Eden actually. So this year Eden is really showing nice growth. Uh, so I'm gonna actually remove this clematis this year now and then and then uh, you know make some space for Eden to be healthy enough. So this side if I go, this is my what do you call it this golden celebration. I do have some uh, flowers here. to remove this data and this guy is here as you can see the leaves are some leaves are not that great this year because you know what I did wrong and it's my mistake totally because when I did headed all the spent flowers I actually fertilized it this is what I normally do but this time looks like I added a little extra maybe i was in a hurry or something um so i should not be doing that and you also don't do that be gentle you know because uh there's a limit right if you exceed the limit then the plant will not able to digest and this is the reaction of that but the good thing i still have some new beautiful canes coming here all these branches of um golden celebration as you can see right so this plant is still pretty healthy so I'm not too much worried no. this is my golden celebration very nice yellow color I love it so much it smells so good very strong fragrance then I have here princess Anne same dead headed all these new canes are coming up here some new flowers are about to bloom which is really nice so i'm waiting for that one next to it i have another abraham darby one is in there at entrance and here is another one look at that the abraham darby is a little tricky you know as temperature changes it changes its color too which is nice because then you get to see different colors of Abraham Darby. This is another Abraham Darby. Yeah. Just just dead dead heading. Small dead heading. Looks how clean, nice it looks. Pretty healthy it looks, right? So this is Abraham Darby. There is one doing peekaboo. <laughs> Um, and then all these new healthy canes, really healthy, with all ready to bloom new buds. I love it. So this is my, let me go back. This is my Abraham Darby. In between, I have some cans of uh, this one, Princess Anne. 
so which is in some camps are really really long and ready to be like a climber kind of thing so i just mixed matched here there you know just tie so it looks like in between um abraham darby you will see princess air <laughs> it's more like a bouquet i love that down here i added this new rose which is tess darber i guess that's what the name is so this i added this year only um and yeah it's it's growing well i guess it's pretty small for sure but i do see some new growth here so which is really nice so i'm looking forward for this one and my idea is to basically you know um, since this is a very small climber so i added this obelix here just to climb on that one boom so this is my new addition in this garden i do not have much space so wherever i get space i just keep adding it's not healthy i know but what to do um this is my curry plant which is in pot only in india we normally i'm from india if you don't know um so in india we use these leaves in, in our curries or you know spices kind of thing so i keep this in inside in winter outside here and it's really healthy this one uh this is walton hall if you see up you'll see some new growth new flower very pretty with jetru jetkal i love it very nice very very pretty and this is a big climb but i can't even go up but it looks really healthy some new cans right so here it is also one new can very nice very pretty down below here the same thing happened maybe over fertilizer i don't know and i feel really bad for this one but I, i'm very happy that it is having some new growth coming up so good 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 here i think i can reach here this is really nice really pretty So this is the one side of my arch. So this white one which you see, this is iceberg. Actually, like this. Ah, oh, come on, focus. Iceberg. This is climber. So this is my another addition which I did last year. So idea is to go here, bloom. All year long, and I love this white rose so so much. Um, let me finish that side, then I'll show other side of this one. I'm sorry, I'm going back and forth here. The other side of this one is my lady of Shalot. This I planted last year. This side it gets really good amount of sun. So as you can see, it is almost reaching here. Some new growth with this beautiful flower. I love this orange. Look at this bud, how beautiful it is! Right, this is almost like two to three days, which is fun. Come on, focus like this, and these are some new growth. So idea is basically in this arch have this um, lady of Shalot this side and other side is Walton Hall. Um, the next to Walton Hall I have Jethro Jekyll. So it has all, already mixed now all the branches so you can see in between you have these pink which you see here these are Jethro Jekyll. Um, 
bring inside. This is another one I have called Bill Green Rose. I love this rose so much. It starts blooming late, but it keeps blooming all the way till frost, I would say. Yes, for me. I don't know about other people. Um, and it is a very s slow grower, even though it comes into climber category. But this is like three years old. So, slowly growing, but it is growing, and it's giving me so many beautiful flowers. Come on, yeah, look at this, how beautiful it is. This is two days old, but I love the color. Look at how beautiful, very light yellow. And initially, when it is first day or second day, I would say, this is how it looks beautiful pale um, yellow soft yellow soft not pale soft yellow in between we are having right lots of bud and trust me it smells so good here I love this this side also and what is this compassion is coming hey compassion how are you? Look at I love the compassion because look at this. It's the frill and the color. I'll, like color is fine. Strong fragrance, very good. But the frill, right? Like th this is more like a cup sized. I love it. But to me, this is true rose <laughs> with frill and everything. So all together they look so beautiful. I love it. So healthy. Touch wood. So this is my arch. Pilgrim. Compassion. Here I have this scripted aisle, which is almost done. Yeah, I need to remove all these. As I mentioned earlier, I do not have much space. So here you will see um oops yeah here you will see i have like pilgrim two compassion then this guy is um what is the name lady of shallot then here i have this scripted dial then these two are princess Anne. and everyone is kind of healthy do i recommend to do like that you know no give them proper space if you have you know so they can thrive right now they are just adjusting and i'm lucky to have these kind of plants <laughs> which are adjusting all by themselves you know because i think they know that i do not have space so they totally understand i guess but um, in general if i have a bigger space i will definitely not do i will definitely give them enough space to grow, thrive. Look at these new cans coming up. All these new branches, which are really, really nice. And then I will start having some uh, princess in. I think I missed this side update. I'll give you later. Right? Let me let me finish this one first. Okay. So next to this one, I have this. Um, yeah, let me remove this one first. Yeah. It's really nice. Again, I forgot the name. I'm getting old, I guess. Uh, I'll put the name here. But yeah, this is pretty healthy. Very, very healthy. So many inside here. Man, I, I don't even know how many plants I have, how many roses I have. I need to start counting them actually. So I will start counting from them and you know, to see. Oh, come on, I'm, I don't know, I'm forgetting the name. But this is again healthy, new cans coming up, these red red leaves are all um, new growth. Um, 
here, this side, I have some beautiful flowers, but I can show you that too high. These are Princess Anne. Princess Anne. I need to show up from the other side. I mean, let me go other side so you guys can see, you know. Princess Anne. That's coming in bunch. Most of them are spent, which is fine. But here is another princess Anne I'm having. Um, and look at this. Man, I, I can die for this one. Ooh. Here, wow. It's like a bouquet, you know. You can just cut the whole thing and just put it in a vase like I did for um, Alexandria of Kent and then we will have a bouquet of roses. So this is my something. I love that how healthy it is. Right, some new growth here also. Look at this. So definitely I'm gonna put the new. This is my arrangement. So I have two and then one climber, two princes and then one climber. This one is Bathsheba. Thank God I remember the name. Bathsheba. So this is some new growth of Bathsheba. Look at how many birds are there. There is something different about Shiva's fragrance, you know, it's you can't define it, but it's so pretty. I tied on these because it's coming on my way, so but these are very beautiful flower, very healthy. Look at this. Pachiba. Very, very pretty. Very healthy. <laughs> I always want Pachiba to climb up just there, but but it never it does this much on me all the time. Alright, this is my banyan tree, which is really nice. My tulsi plant. Um, yes, let's talk about this one. So this side, this area, my plan is to basically one and two are Florentina, and this one is tropical hill um these are some white roses honeymoon and one more is there which is uh, about to bloom come on focus yeah and this one is um what is name? florentina is actually here which is still a baby but look at the bright red color I love it so so much no fragrance it just um, color this is my strawberry hill planted this year only nice growth very healthy down below you can see flowers very unique fragrance you know very very unique fragrance are uh, more like a fruit musk I don't know I'm not very good in defining it but it is really nice and this one I really want to talk about this one so I am doing some experiments <laughs> uh, and I planted in David Austin box only uh, so these are something I am uh, actually trying to take some cuttings of my you know existing plants and then trying to see if it really works so um this one is poet's wife and i did this uh, update in one of the short video where i planted and all of them actually all my cuttings actually came you know like this 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 the only thing i think and i'm guessing this i don't know what is the reason but it all came sprouted actually you know only one is remaining right now which is looking pretty healthy but what went wrong with this one which i am thinking is 
maybe over watering and I'm guessing I'm not sure because at the same time this is my Princess Alexandria of Kent here also you'll see all the cuttings which I have planted everyone actually sprouted do we say sprouted or, or like I don't know what do we call that um, but all the leaves came it's pretty healthy none of them are drying you know everyone is having like look at this look at look at this nice growth I love it yeah and I put it into a little bit Austin box only so these are my cuttings these are really doing well very well but poet's wife cutting is I don't know what went wrong like I would say 90% died all these things dried I don't know maybe over watering I have no idea but this guy is really picking it up which is really nice so I love I love I love this experiment because now I have some extra plants for my garden even though I don't have space but when you like something you'll definitely find space i know that i don't know where i'm gonna put it but i'm definitely if i can make it you know um like this is really looking nice so far but you never know so i'll keep watching see how it goes um this is another thing which i already mentioned in some of my video this is uh oops this is um generous gardener which i planted from seeds which I already made one video on this one so this is really doing great so far this is another one and there's a story behind it again and you'll see this one because I think when I was fertilizing at the end of this June to all my uh, plants I think I added some to this one too and I think it burned all the plants so I was having almost six plants, six pots, only two survived. So guys, be careful when you're fertilizing, you know, and I'm not a pro, so I'm still learning gardening and I'm experimenting and I'm seeing what works, what does not. And based on that, I, I am just showing you what I'm like experience I'm having. So this is pretty healthy so far, this one. I'm gonna plant that and I'm gonna see how, if this can pick up and I think it is picking up already. So let's see. So putting it back. And this is a reminder. I'm not throwing it away because that will show you that you need to be gentle with your plants, okay? These two. Be gentle when you're watering make sure you're giving enough water but not too much water and here these two are the reminder that okay guys you can kill them if you're gonna overfeed them okay so be careful and this guy strawberry hair smells so 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 good you should have this one in your garden this is my beautiful hibiscus clematis still one or two are coming up down next here coming is Jetru Jekyll really doing a good job look at this some new planes coming up and I bought this as a shrubber shrub sorry <laughs> and then climber it turned into look at this and I got some new flower about to bloom there next to it um Eden Eden is really competing with Jetru looks like because I only get flower once but this year I'm gonna get again which is nice and cans are like these branches really nice I love this pretty handy here I have before I go there I'll show my these jasmine plants and it's jasmines oh, I love jasmine Small, beautiful flower, strong fragrance. I love them, very healthy. Here, 
This is Laguna. Laguna again. I dare to head it all of them. Look at that. This is God. Like, oh my God. It's climbing my house now. Alright, here's Laguna. I love the, this beautiful color. Very pretty. And it has very nice fragrance too. And it always comes in a bunch kind of thing, you know. You see? It's like a bunch. Very nice. I love it. Down below, this is my poet's pipe. So this I actually planted last year in other place. It wasn't doing very well. Then I put it in a pot. In a pot, it picked up. But I wanted it in the ground because I can't handle uh, roses in pot in this zone 5, which is really, really cold here, right? So I planted back again here. And I think this is the result. Ta-da! Oh my god, I love poets. Why I have another poet poet's wife at the end i'll show you but by seeing all these this is really nice growth and i'm glad i did that transition into pot and then you know put it back here oh my god i can't wait to show you this thing this is jubilee ce celebration i love jubilee celebration so so much and I started gardening um, using pots and I killed that, the very first one which I bought. And I was waiting and I, it was like in a waiting list, waiting list, like finally I got one. And this is, look at the color, the, the frill, everything, you know. Very nice, I'm really, really looking forward to, you know, grow very well and bloom very well. Another one is, um, this is uh, Tranquility. I'm gonna grow it as a climber. That's my plan is, so I'm gonna put it here. So hopefully it will go up. This is their first year. So based on first year, I think they are growing very well. Down below I have this one. This is the very first time I tried young Lassidus, and that's what I always say, I guess. Look at the color, it's more like a princess end for sure, or maybe Gabriel Oak kind of thing. But the fragrance is really old rose, very strong. I love it. And when it blooms, the very beginning bloom is really, really pretty. The color is very pretty, and the flower is still pretty. Look at that, how big it is! Ba -ba. I love it. And these are some of my experience going on. This is not coming any flower. But these four are actually all my new addition this year, so I'm gonna keep updating this side. Alright, let's go the other side, the beginning, so I can close my because this recording is really long, long now. This is some of my annuals. This is my uh, potho. Golden potho. It's really picking it up. I really want it to grow big, 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 big leaves. Some of my marigolds, hibiscus, um, jasmine again, my cucumber, not doing so well coming this side uh, this is my another lady of shallot this is monster wood which I planted this year so I'm hoping it to be come up my pretty pink Eden very healthy some new canes coming up love it and then there we are having some new birds coming up so very good job pretty in pink this is my red Rose, yep, I don't know the name, this is my first red plant, actually, rose I would say, planted uh, 10 years back and it comes every year with this very beautiful red flower. Um, good thing about this one is like it starts late giving flower but it 
keeps giving flower till end of like you know frost like not end of frost but end of fall and then the you know winter starts and then starts snowing then only it will stop otherwise it will keep giving blooming this is manganesia as you all know trumpet wine this looks really nice and this is my new addition uh, banana musa banana plant which i love it and this is um, teasing george here so all together this corner looks so amazing right i wanted to give more tropical look this side so trumpet wine is doing that and now this banana plant is doing that and then i have these beautiful always keep blooming uh -huh, teasing georgia the beautiful teasing georgia yep adjusting my focus and look at this <laughs> this is my another beautiful yellow rose which i'm so 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 proud of so this again third year of this one and it has reached till here Here is the proof, my beautiful flower, and here is my Eden, pretty pink Eden, which almost went the, all the flower. It is fine. Come on, focus. And this is my Jasmina, which I planted last year in the fall. It's picking up. It gave very nice flower. Coming here. this I showed you I want to show this corner actually that's the reason I was waiting this is my poet's wife and poet's wife is hello down here I have another poet branch here which is my ooh <laughs> um hello baby come here Look at this. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? So when you so this is my entrance, right? So when you come and you get to see this kind of welcome. Wow. This is my Jetro Jekyll. Did lots of deadheading. And then I removed the clematis which was here, which is all over the place. So I removed all of them. Um, so this is a clean look now we are having. Which is really nice. I see some new growths. Which makes this plant very healthy, I guess. And this is my beautiful Jetro Jekyll. That's fragrance, man. You should have this one. I always say that, but yeah, you should have this. I'm telling you. Uh, there also, I'm having at the top some of the. Yeah. So I will end my video here. This is my just uh, mint plant. And this is hydrangea, which is almost done. So back to here where I started. I hope you liked my video. Um, if you have any question, comment, suggestion, please feel free to message me. And then um, I love seeing your comments. And this is my Abraham diary. So I'll stop right here. Thank you for watching everyone. You have a good day. Bye.